There's three different kinds, traditionally, of calcium that can be applied to lawns. There's calcitic. I, I hesitate to say this because it, there's always a there's always a what if. There's always a example where I'm wrong on this issue. But if your salesman or your consultant starts talking a lot about calcium, that's usually a little bit of a red flag. Okay, usually. I mean, with the exception of lime, calcium carbonate. I mean, I get that if you're going to lime the soil. But if you're going to be talking about gypsum or applying calcium for calcium's sake, that's usually a red flag. Because in, in, and I can give you an example where this doesn't hold true right now. Okay. In most cases, you, and I say most cases, I mean like greater than 95% of the cases, you're never going to see a response to the application of calcium from the calcium. Okay. You may see a, re a response to the application of calcium sulfate. But it's not probably going to be from the calcium. It'll be from the sulfate, supplying sulfate, sulfur if it's deficient. Or if you're in a sodic soil, that can actually help alleviate sodic soils by, by leaching the sodium out. But generally, calcium is not going to do anything in terms of applying it to alleviate a calcium deficiency because you probably don't have a calcium deficiency. Okay, calcium's everywhere. Okay, and it's fairly easy to, to see in the turf grass tissue if there's a deficiency. All you got to do is look at one of the newer leaves. And if you see the tips of those newer leaves be like a rosy red color or like a, like a, like a darkish rosy red, and it's sort of like laying there sort of flat and flopped over the tip of the leaf, that's you probably, and you probably have a calcium deficiency. And if you die and you back that up with a soil test and your soil may look three levels or say less than say 250, 300, then it's possible you have a calcium deficiency, but that's very, very rare, exceedingly strange to see that. Okay. So Keep that in mind. Like I said, I had to take to say calcium as a BS criteria because, I mean, there are some situations where it can be useful, but generally, I, I, when I hear someone's talking about calcium, I'm like, uh oh, that's already now you got my interest <laughs> because I'm. Why are you talking about calcium? Where, where have you heard that from? Because it's usually not necessary.